is question number 8. That is verify A minus minus B equal to A plus B for the following values of A and B. That is 4 questions are there. there. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, we will do each one by one. So, first we will write A minus minus B equal to A plus B. Here, this portion is called LHS. Here, this portion is called RHS. If LHS is equal to RHS, it means this equation is perfect. So, we will write. Okay, now we will verify it for that is 1. Okay, 1, question number 1. A equal to 21 and B equal to 18. The LHS, we will put the value. LHS, we will put the value. Okay, A is 21 minus, that is minus 18. Okay, that is equal to, that is equal to 21 plus 18, that is equal to 39. Now, we will check for the RHS side. RHS side, okay, RHS, here I will write, okay. So, that is A plus B, A equal to 21, A plus B equal to 21 plus 18, okay, that is also 39. So, this is 39, this is 39. So, our, this one is verified, that is 8, 1 is verified, okay. For our easy reference, we will write it somewhere in the table. So, I will make one table and I will write. Okay. So, I will make table. That is verified. Now we will go for solving question number 2. Okay. Again I will write that is A minus minus B equal to A plus B. This is LHS. This is RHS. So we will do first the question number 2. Question number 2 A equal to a equal to 118 and B equal to 125, 125. So, LHS, LHS equal to A minus minus B equal to equal to 118 minus minus 125 that is equal to 118 plus 125 that is equal to 13 3 13 1 okay 4 and 2 2 4 3 now we'll solve the rhs now we'll solve here rhs rhs equal to that is a plus b equal to a plus b equal to a value we will put 118 plus 125 that is 243. So, this 243 and this 43, 243 are same. So, 2 also we will write verified. Now, we will solve the next question that is question number 3 and I will write here question number 3. 
the value of a equal to 75 and value of b equal to 84 okay lhs lhs equal to a minus minus b equal to minus b equal to a value will put 75 minus minus 84 equal to equal to 75 plus 84 equal to 951 okay now we'll solve the rhs okay for that one rhs rhs equal to a plus b equal to that is 75 plus 84 that is 9159 you see 159 here and 159 here is equal so this is also verified now our next question that is question number 84 okay so a equal to a equal to 28 and b equal to 11 LHS equal to A minus minus B equal to 28 minus minus 11 equal to 28 plus 11 equal to 939. Okay, this is 39. Now we will go for RHS. RHS RHS equal to A plus B equal to A plus B equal to 28 plus 11 equal to 39. So, this 39 and this 39 are same. So, question number 4 is also verified. And like that, we have solved all the four questions we will so we will not say solved we have verified all the four questions and we have completed question number eight now we'll see the next question that is question number nine use the sign of that is bigger than smaller than or equal to in the box to make the statement true so a statement is given there are Five question A, B, C, D, E. So, this we will solve, this we will solve and we will compare which is greater, which is smaller and same sign we will put here. So, what I will do? I will start solving first 9A. 9A, one part is I will make the two parts here. <coughs> Minus 8 plus minus 4. So, minus 8 and minus 4, it will become minus 12. This is the left part. Now, we will go to right part. Okay. Minus 8, minus 8, minus, minus 4 equal to minus 8 plus 4 equal to minus 4. So, here minus 12 is smaller and minus 4 is bigger. So, we can write a sign here. Okay. So, first question is minus 12 is a small quantity and minus 4 is bigger quantity. So, this statement that is minus 8 plus minus 4 is bigger than, okay, is a smaller than that is minus 8 minus minus 4. Now, we will go for next question that is question number B. B. B says minus 3 plus 7 minus 19. Okay. The left part that is here it will become 
plus 4. If you add this one, plus 4 minus 19. Okay, then it is coming minus 15. Now the right side portion that is 15 minus 8 plus minus 9. Okay, equal to 7 plus that is not plus, this is also minus 9. Okay, so if you do it will become minus 2. So minus 15 is smaller than minus 2. So same sign we will put here by using black color. Okay, black color. So like that we have completed B part also. Now we will go for solving C part 9C. 9C you see 23 minus 41 plus 11 equal to minus okay minus 7 that is the left part of C. The right part, right part is 23 minus 41 minus 11. Okay, if you go that is here equal to equal to minus 29. It is minus 29, it is minus 7. Okay, so minus 7 is bigger than minus 29. So we can write it. Okay, we will write it that this portion is bigger than the right side portion. Okay, we have completed C. Now we will go for solving again. That is D part. D part says 39 minus plus, that is minus 24 minus 15. Okay, here it is 39 minus 24 minus 15. Here it is. Okay, so that is. 15 and minus 15 equal to 0. Okay. So, left part is 0. Now, we will solve the right part. Okay. 36 minus 52 minus minus 36. Okay. So, it is 36. Okay. Minus 52 minus 52 and plus 36. So, plus will come 72 minus 12 by 52. It is coming 20. It is coming 20. So, left portion is 0 and right portion is 20. So, 20 is bigger than 0 or 0 is smaller than 20. So, we will write here. Okay. This portion is smaller than this one. Okay. You will take E. Okay. Now E says minus 231 plus 79 plus 51. Okay. It is minus 231 plus, okay, 1, 130. It will be minus and difference will be there 1, okay, 0 and it is 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay, right side we will see minus 399 plus 159 plus 81 equal to minus 399 plus plus 0. 1, 4, 2. 
okay so it is coming 9 okay 5 and 5 and 1 that is minus 1 5 9 here is minus 1 0 there is minus 1 5 9 so this one is bigger quantity and that one is a smaller quantity so we will write it like this okay and like that we have solved all the five questions given in question number 9 now we will see next question question number 10 a water tank has steps inside it a monkey is sitting on the top most step that is the first step the water level is at the ninth step now three questions are there he jumps three step down and then jumps back two steps up in how many jumps he will reach the water so first we will do 10 1 10 1 okay so first jump first jump okay he is going to minus 3 before that you see 1 equal to it is the zero because he need not to cover any distance here 2 equal to minus 1 because he has to cover minus 1 step down 3 equal to minus 2 because he has to cover minus 2 for coming to third step he has to jump minus 2 distance he has to cover and like that we will write everything minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 and minus 8 so the monkey has to come down by minus 8 jumps then minus 8 steps not jump minus 8 steps then only he will reach the water so now i will okay so first jump minus 3 he is on the okay minus 3 1 2 3 okay so he is coming to minus 3 on means on the fourth step second jump second jump equal to minus 3 plus 2 equal to minus 1 so he comes on the second step third jump third jump he comes to minus 1 minus 3 equal to minus 4 that is minus 4 step minus 4 is on the fifth step he is available then fourth jump fourth jump minus 4 plus 2 equal to minus 2 fifth jump fifth jump equal to minus 2 minus 3 equal to minus 5 sixth jump sixth jump equal to minus 5 plus 2 equal to minus 3 seventh jump okay seventh jump he comes to minus 3 minus 3 equal to minus 6 eighth jump eighth jump eighth jump he comes he comes to minus 6 plus 2 equal to minus 4 ninth jump ninth jump he comes to minus 4 minus 3 equal to minus 7 a step down okay tenth jump tenth jump he comes to minus 7 plus 2 equal to minus 5 eleventh jump equal to minus 5 minus 3 equal to minus 8 and water level is minus 8 jumps down so the monkey has reached the water after jumping 11 times now we'll take 2 for for coming 
for coming up. Okay. So he has to climb. Now from here he has to climb to zero. Or from here if you take he has to cover a distance of eight jumps. Okay. So we will do a drinking water. He wants to go back. For this he jumps four steps. So first jump. First jump. Okay. Minus eight plus four is equal to minus four. He was at minus eight and he has taken first. Okay. Second jump. Second jump. Minus four. Okay. Then two step down. Minus two. Minus two equal to minus six. Third jump. Third jump equal to minus six plus four equal to minus two. Now fourth jump, fourth jump equal to minus two and minus two equal to minus four. So fifth jump, that is fifth jump. Okay, equal to minus four plus four equal to plus four equal to zero. So zero means he has come on the top. So in how many jumps? In five jumps. In five jumps he has come on the top. So second question, it needs five jump for the monkey to reach on the top. By jumping four step up and two step down. Okay, now we'll see the third part of the question. I will write here ten three. Ten three. Okay, to understand better, see whatever we have done in one and two, same thing is. Represented here, okay, A and B, okay, A and B. Here one and two they have not mentioned A and B, so we will understand better by making one table. For that I am drawing a table, okay. So what is this? The jumps. Okay, he has taken the jumps. A step number. Okay. So first jump he has taken minus three. Okay. Then the result is minus three. Result. It is plus two. Okay, it is coming to minus one. It is minus three. It is coming to minus four. It is plus two. It is coming to minus two. It is minus three. It is coming to minus five. It is plus two. It is coming to minus three. It is minus three. It is coming to minus six. It is plus two. It is coming to 
minus minus 4 it is ok in the ninth jump he will take minus 3 he will take minus 3 and he will lead to minus 7 again tenth jump plus 2 he will lead to minus 5 and again the eleventh jump minus 3 and he is reaching to minus 8 and the water level is at minus 8 only ok so we can make the calculation like this this one minus 3 you write minus 3 so this is written plus 2 this is written minus 3 this is written plus 2 this is written minus 3 this is written plus 2 this is written minus 3 this is written plus 2 this is written minus 3 this is written plus 2 this is written and minus 3 and that will make you minus 8 ok so this is the c in this one you will see that there are 11 ok numbers or 11 integers some is positive some is negative so 11 integers makes minus 8 now we will go for the b part the b part that is for going up then we will go for question number b so while jumping on the top ok water level will be taken as 0 and top will be taken as positive because it is going in upside and for upside we are taking positive so he is completing here he has completed the jump in uh, the whole distance in five jumps so i will write here 1 2 3 4 5 now the first jump was plus 4 the second jump was minus 2 again plus 4 minus 2 and plus 4 result the first jump result is plus 4 and this is plus 2 and this is plus 6 and this is plus 4 and this is plus 8. So, he has reached the plus 8 means above the water level 8 steps he has reached. The same thing can be written in the form of series that is plus 4 minus 2 plus 4 minus 2 and plus 4 equal to 8 ok so 8 the next is telling so what will be the sum 8 in b represent a is from 0 level that is from water level 8 steps up so here 8 in b is 8 steps up from water level ok and like that we have completed the complete question question number 10 ok and by this we have completed the exercise exercise number 1.1 now we will start ok before starting exercise number 1.2 we will see what are the things we need to learn first then if any ok try this is there that we will solve and then we will start 